Hello, um, I'm here today to talk about how to make a perfect lens. So, you know, this is an ordinary lens, it's made of glass, of course, and it makes an image. Um, so if you have one in your camera, so if you take a picture of someone, the light from that someone comes along in straight lines and when it gets to the lens, it gets bent and focused to an image in the sensor in the camera, just like in the one here. Um, the trouble with it is that that picture is actually ever so slightly blurred. And there's a kind of law of physics that says you can't make it perfect because it's basically because light's a wave and it's when it gets through goes through this aperture it diffracts that makes a, a limit to how sharp the image can be what we're doing is we're making a new sort of lens a perfect lens and instead of using a material like glass it uses one where the refractive index is actually negative um, and the result of that is that when the light enters the glass it doesn't bend towards the normal, it bends in the opposite direction. So it bends, at this angle, it's a negative angle because it's a negative refractive index. So the light beams do like this and they cross over. And then when they form their image and you do all the maths, you can show that the image doesn't have to obey this diffraction limit and can be ultra, ultra sharp. In fact, in principle, it can be just perfectly sharp. Um, we can't do it with men, uh, but you can do this thing on a really small scale. And maybe that's useful for making microchips, for making really sharp features in a semiconductor circuit.